and I am back, everybody. What up, all? So, uh, Juggalon72? Oh, sorry about that. Got a little tongue tied there for a second. And, uh, welcome back to Triforce of the Gods. Now, we got the, uh, second pendant in the Desert Palace. Now, we have to make our way to Death Mountain, to the Tower of Hera. Now, no. there is, uh, maybe one or two things that we need, uh, to do. First off, we need to gather a lot of rupees. And I do mean a lot of rupees. Get these out of the way. Hang on. Stop by home real quick. Pick up a couple of hearts. Well, one heart in this case. Alrighty. I need about 400 rupees. You know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna gather 400 rupees real quick, and uh, we'll, re uh, we'll resume. Okay, after doing some rupee gathering, we need to head over to the falls. We need to go northeast. Now, it's a little bit below of uh, Death Mountain, but you need to follow this bridge right here. Okay, hang on. Oh. See, I needed more arrows earlier. So I managed to gather 300 uh, rupees in that little uh, hidden area in the uh, Hyrule uh, Castle. Okay, so it's a kind of bottle. You know what? I don't use a lot of magic at the moment, so just uh, the red potion will do. Alrighty. Let's see. As I hear the uh, sounds of uh, police sirens. Oh yeah, watch out for these little guys right here too. <laughs> get him with you know you can only hit him with arrows right now. Actually, you can actually hit him with the uh, boomerangs too. Hang on, I think it's our uh, boomerangs. Yeah, because if you don't stun them, they will shock you. Okay, let's keep moving up this way. Keep moving up here. Yeah, these desert creatures are a little bit of a, a nuisance. Okay, nothing over here. That's for later. Okay, we need to make our way to this little area here. As you hear the waterfall in the background. Oh yeah, and there's all these little uh, scaly fish guys over here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, let's make our way up here. Yeah, I'm alright. Oh yeah, you can't swim in uh, the deep end. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. You know what? That wasn't very smart. I know that uh, sounds uh makes you want to pee, doesn't it? Fuck. Damn it. Oh, and the frame rate drops, I forgot about that. You know the Game Boy Advance, that doesn't happen. That particularly does not happen. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, I want some flippers. Okay, it's 500 rupees in the Japanese version. Alrighty. Got some flippers. Now we can swim. Okay, now we can head to Death Mountain. Because that's just going to get in the way. Now, there's a heart piece here, but... I'm really not interested in getting it right now. Hop down from here. Run down this way. Actually, I think we're just en route to it. Oh yeah. All right. Now we gotta head all the way east. Okay. We've made the trek back to. Uh, 
to the east. Damn it. Wasting my arrows and shit. But, filling up on magic. Alrighty. Hang on a second. Before we do that... Oh! Look at all those bees. I'm running. The Bumpkin Brothers. Hang on a second. They've got something... Well, there's something around here that I could get. But... Hang on. Where is it at? There's a hole around here. Hang on. I believe there is a hole around here. Nope. Okay. Let's go check this little cave out real quick. Yep. I gotta wait for them to finish cutting that little tree down. Alright, well that was a waste. Don't worry about that later. Although... would be pretty cool to do that. Nah, I can't run into runs it. Okay. Into Death Mountain. No bullshitting. Yeah, let's trek our way through this little maze. It's pitch black in here. What I want to know is how the hell he can see. Oh. That'd have been a mistake. Oh. This old man's lost. He's uh, asking for directions so if he can follow us. Here. He is saying, can you get us out? Because there's a direction around here that'll lead us to the top of the mountain. We're supposed to go a little bit further down this way. Talking about the seven wise men. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that's right, I can't run with this guy. Correction, seven maidens. Oh, okay, here we go. Now, beware. Oh, little safe house right here. Oh, would you look at that? The magic mirror. As he goes in untouched. Yeah, while you're on Death Mountain, just come back to this little old man right there. And he will rescue you. He will be the person who heals you. If you have no uh, potions, then talk to him. It's better than going all the way back to the sanctuary. Shit. Alrighty. Up we move. Funny thing is, when you go all the way to the top, the boulders stop coming down. Look at that, another heart piece. Alrighty. Would you look at that? A warp of some sort. <gasps> oh! Suddenly we're a bunny! <laughs> Talking about the moon pearl. How the moon pearl allows you to keep your, uh, your physical form. Thankfully, We've got the magic mirror. Use that right here. We go all the way back to our time. Alrighty. Now that's the Tower of Hera. Let's do a little exploring, shall we? Ooh, that reminds me. The Book of the Door will allow us to teach us some magic. We're going to go back to that a little later. Just a bit later. Oh, you have to forgive me, my buzz is wearing off. Just a little bit. And... Oh, 
I require a certain item to do to get across there. Okay, well, to the Tower of Hera we go. Alrighty. In the introduction of the uh, blue and red switches. Let's get this real quick. Right into a map. Let me see these little uh, guys that uh, go back and forth between the uh, little uh, these walls here. Well, spoiler alert. There's a big one waiting for us. Oh, then you got these little fucks right here that are immune to uh, arrows. That's uh, lovely to be reminded of. Oh yeah, when you strike them, they uh, force you back a little. So be very careful where you strike these guys. Take care of that. Yeah, you want to throw stuff at them. <laughs> Alright, here we go. That requires a master key. Well, let's go through here, shall we? Go down this little area. Okay. We're good on health. Oh yeah, these red skulls over here, they uh, throw bones at you. It's like, come on, man, throw me, throw me a bone. Well, in this case, you don't want them to. Throw me a freaking bone here. Oh, hang on. Well, if I remember correctly, there's one place right here. There we go. To the basement. Oh, yeah, and there's this. Remember on the previous episode how they said um, these little tile areas? They require all the tiles to come after you? It Sorry about that. But like I said, do you remember the uh, previous episode whenever I said there's uh, tiles, there's rooms over here that require all the tiles to uh, be launched at you before you can uh, continue? Well, this is one of them. I'm not going to make the mistake of coming in with low health either. Looks like the number eight. Alrighty. Let the patients come. Better hit that real quick. Oop. <sighs> I felt like that was a lot less uh, constructive. Definitely rusty on this game. Then I'm probably uh, just too used to all the uh, advanced weapons. Yeah, here. Damn it. Light these up. Oh yeah. Right into the master key. Let's see if I'll get a. Uh... Okay. Now, here's the cool thing about the uh, mirror it allows you to go right back to the beginning. Alrighty. Now we can continue. Oh, yeah. You can't stun these guys either. Okay, 
away we go. Open this door. Yeah, be very careful where you step. Those little switches are um, very deceptive, though. You never know where they're gonna pop up. But, you have a good idea where they, uh, where they create holes, where they don't create holes. You can survive. Just when I eat hearts. Oh, wonderful. Okay, I'm back. And already. If I understand, if I'm a, uh, my member serves me correctly, they need to be uh, linked up just like that, because I need a drop from this other floor over here. And of course, the red ones always means they're tougher. No, maybe this will work. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> See you in hell. God damn it. Fucker's tough. I said I was gonna kill him. Okay, that's a perfect example of one of those walls that don't crack. Then, let's see. If it's wrong, I'm supposed to... Hang on. Let me go through here. Oh, no. Okay, now let's kick this guy's ass. Keep some bombs with me. Gotta strike the tail. It starts getting faster. Yeah, and then that happens. I don't know why it's habitual for me to just be by the edge for some reason. I don't know why that's habitual. I'm trying to stay uh, near the center over here. Come on. Come on, you armored fuck over here. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Get over here. Get over here. Okay, he's moving fast now. There we go. <sighs> I gotta stop doing this with alcohol in my system. <laughs> and the pendant of bravery is now ours. Now we can go to the, uh, the Force of or not Force of Illusion. We can go get the uh, Master Sword now. Out of the Tower of Hera. You know what, we're gonna do this the quick way. We're gonna start at the Sanctuary. Cover this way. Okay, all three pennants are ours. Now, we head east again. Alright, here we go. Now, the cool part about these woods, you can enter two different places from the south, and two different places from the east, I believe. Alright, get these 
these out of the way. Get out of here. Oh, I love this theme. Okay. Cool part is the map still works in here. What have we got in here? A thieves hideout, huh? How clever. Oh, wait a second. Definitely hiding something very worthwhile. Let's chop these lids down real quick. And let me take this heart piece. Alright, let's continue. Now, don't be fooled. There are thieves here. Oh, what's this? A mushroom. There's a witch that actually uh, runs a shop, you know, where we bought the uh, potion from. She has a shop. You give her that uh, mushroom, and she gives you something. It's a magic powder. And would you look at that? We now have the Master Sword. Alrighty. And in the next episode, shit gets real. Much love, peace, and I'll see you on the next episode.